In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys a bunch of brand new and new Soul Blender add-ons that will definitely help you improve your workflow as a 3D artist. Ranging from modeling, asset libraries, animation, and geometry node setups, I'm pretty sure you will find something interesting in today's video. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start with Backscapes, which is an add-on that is all about improving your renders by adding detailed background assets. And it doesn't cover just one type of backgrounds, because it has many things like cityscapes, mountain views, and even spaceports. So as you can see, there is a lot of variety, which helps you cover different kinds of projects. And what makes these assets realistic is that they are actually photo scanned from actual real world locations and edited for the highest level of detail. And in my personal opinion, I think this will make it really good for big environments and if the background is far away from the camera. So to break it down for you, the album comes with over 120 different options covering locations like Miami, Rio de Janeiro, Berlin and London, and covering things like cliffs, factories, fields, islands and so much more. Also, what makes these assets so nice is the fact that they are super easy to use, since you can just drag and drop them into your scenes without a lot of hassle. And of course, it has the ability to integrate with Blender's asset library, where you can easily browse your assets by category and use different filters and add them to your scenes. Now, let's move away from assets that can be used as backgrounds, all the way to detailed materials that can be used for close-up shots, with the add-on called Potter's Touch. And this one is from B Production, the same people behind many successful and popular Blender add-ons like Forestation, Cloudscapes, Global Light Textures, and so much more. Potter's Touch is a unique collection of ready-to-use 8K light textures designed specifically for Blender's asset browser. And this library offers 26 photorealistic textures available in 8K, 4K, and 2K, giving you the option to offer less quality and better performance depending on your needs, like in the case you have big projects or in the case your machine is not going to be able to handle this pressure. And as you might expect, these high quality or high res textures ensure amazing quality and detail that can work for ultra close shops or scenic objects like walls and such. And my favorite thing about the add-on is that these materials are seamless and fully customizable within the shader graph and grouping all the necessary settings that you can play around with. It covers simple controls like roughness, scale, specular level, and offset options, all the way to adding those micro details using displacements and settings like power, inflation, mid-level, and more. And now we're gonna talk about a new add-on called Rapid. And this one kind of sounds a little bit too niche. Well, because it is. Rapid is a Blender add-on made by the developer Blender Guppy, who is the developer behind add-ons like Random Flow and Creative Flow. In a nutshell, Rapid is all about wrapping your objects within vacuum plastic bags. And it is really simple to use. All you have to do is select your object and wrap it. But don't worry, because it doesn't end there. The add-on comes with all sorts of settings to fully fine-tune your wraps, enabling you to adjust things like offset, select the wrap method and mode, adjust the resolution and subdivision level of your mesh, you can also smooth it and manually adjust the voxel size and so much more. And to make it even better, the generated wrap comes pre-made with a realistic plastic material, so you don't have to worry about that, especially when rendering. Now, let's talk about something more interesting with Alien Worlds. And this one is a Blender add-on that enables you to create fully customizable and procedural space scenes, including all sorts of celestic elements like planets with custom properties in addition to stars, black holes, and so much more. The interesting thing is that the add-on comes with a couple of environment presets that you can start off with, like base stars, outer stars, nebula, and so much more, which you can customize and adjust until you are satisfied with it. And of course, I can't forget that it also packs a couple of presets for planets and black holes. And from what I can see, this offers a really easy solution to get super detailed looking space renders. In addition, this add-on is compatible with EV and Cycles, and it is optimized to give you the least amount of render time possible. Next up, we have something a little bit different, and it is all about adding cool looking trail effects with the add-on called Auto Trail. 
In a nutshell, it is an asset library for Blender, packed with geometry node trees for creating all sorts of trail effects, as the name suggests. With it, you can add customizable trails to straight lines or curved edges, making it perfect for things like sword slashes, bullets, and whatever thing has motion really. The add-on comes with over 20 unique effects that you can choose from, and it varies from basic glows like fire and bubble trails that really pop, or even comic book style text trails if you're trying to go for that stylized look. From what I can see, each trail has its own custom controls that anyone can understand and play around with. Also using it is really easy. You can just drag and drop trails from the asset browser, set the object for the trail, and specify the vertex group that it should follow. And just like that, you kinda have a fully functional trail ready to be rendered. So far in this video, I mentioned many different libraries. Let's talk about one of the biggest libraries out there, Blender Kit. I'm pretty positive that every Blender user have heard about this kit at certain point. And the Blender Kit add-on is a fantastic asset library that is integrated directly into Blender. So you get to choose between the free plan and the full plan. They are both packed with valuable resources that can boost your projects in architectural visualization, product design, animation, and even video games. First, let's talk about the assets, I mean within the asset library itself, which is always growing. With high quality 3D models, materials, textures, and brushes from different creators from all around the world. And all you have to do to get your assets is search for its name, and you can also use customizable tags and advanced filters to help you quickly locate what you need. Plus, you can explore different collections handpicked by experienced creators, or you can even post or sell your own assets within the community. In my opinion, everyone should have this add-on installed because simply put, it has a lot of content and it can save you a lot of time and effort. Now, let's move away from libraries to talk about this modeling add-on, which is called Offset Cut. Simply put, Offset Cut is a popular function introduced to Blender by the Mesh Machine add-on, which everyone I think is familiar with. But this new tool attempts to recreate the same functionality using the power of geometry nodes. And what makes this add-on interesting is that it works on multiple sections, making it versatile for various tasks and objects. Additionally, it can handle both cyclic and non-cyclic selections with ease. And it does all of that while respecting sharp corners based on the angle input, which ensures clean cuts and precise angles depending on your modeling needs. And now, let's move to the known quirks of the add-on. And since it operates using mesh boolean, which is known to be pretty unpredictable, some issues might happen sometimes. And if that happens, slightly adjusting the values can often improve the outcome, but expect to get your hands dirty with some manual tweaking as well. Also, it is important to make sure that your mesh is manifold before you start using this tool. Last but not least, we have an add-on called Airflight Add-on, which makes creating aerial shots and aircraft animations easier and faster, including 9 highly detailed aircraft models that you can use in your project and a bunch of other animation presets that I'm gonna tell you about. What makes this add-on shine is that it enables you to animate different aircraft movements like turbulence and helicopter hover with 9 presets and controls for pitch, yaw, and even roll. Also, the provided 3D models are low poly and they are optimized, so they are easy to animate, render, and manage in your scene. You can also rotate the landing gears on the planes easily. And there is a feature to make propellers spin forever with one click. And all of these animations are procedural, meaning they can run smoothly and they are easily customizable. Another feature that I really like about the add-on is that it includes a moving cloud system and a preset sky to make your renders and animations look realistic. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.